All right, guys, we are back out here. Day two for the seven pin um, plug install on the FJ. So let's get rolling. I got some self tapping screws at the store just now. So we are gonna finish wiring up and sending those wires to the back of the FJ and then installing that plug back there. So let's roll. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is this is the existing four, four plug or four pin trailer harness on the FJ. It was facing down and out, but I flipped it over upside down on this bracket because the new bracket, I'm gonna drill holes and mount it here. And then you just have a, it comes with a plug where you can plug this four pin directly into the new plug and have your four pin there and also your seven pin right here. So. Um, I charged my batteries up on my drill, so we're going to drill a couple holes and get that bracket installed. So after a little trial and error, um, I think I flipped this backwards, but that's okay. Uh, this hole was something I tried, it didn't work out, but um, I marked two holes here that had no holes, and then I used my drill and drilled two holes and then use the supplied hardware and the nuts on top and I just screwed this down so I ended up using two of the pieces of hardware for this part because the other ones weren't gonna work so I'm gonna have to pick up two more bolts here and nuts but I got one here cutty cornered and one here so it's holding pretty good um, but there you can see it mounted uh, the thing with all these wires, here is this connection from the new plug, and all you're going to do with this is take it up here and plug it into your old one. And then we've got um, these here, so white is just going to get ground to the chassis somewhere. Uh, the black is our power wire, which is the red one that's coming all the way to the back. And then the blue is coming from our EBC all the way back. So we just got to run those inside under the panels and get them hid. And we'll continue. So here in the back of the FJ, I took off this cover. And you can see right down here, that goes out into the ground underneath the truck. Um, so I need to get my cable through this panel on forward run it underneath this kicker all the way through these and then figure out how I get from here back to that panel so let me let's see these come off pretty easy So I got this kicker panel pulled back. See the wires running right here. Just gonna follow along down here through the with these wires. And then I got this peeled back and I'm gonna fish it through there. And then all I did back here, like I said, I took off this cover. Right here, these go, we've just got a Phillips screw in the center, and those pop off one and two. And then that gives you access to the uh, light bulbs in the rear tail lights. I just popped that off and it gave me the ability to grab right here. And then it's just a matter of popping these, kind of gently pulling and it will pop all these top and then I can fish my wire all the way through the back. So we will get that start. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it. So now I'm going to get my 
black wire and I'm going to connect it to my blue here and then I'm just going to treat my black as blue running back and connect blue to blue back there and we'll run it the same way. Uh, these little clips here, you just take a flathead and pry that and that will pop open and now we can run that inside right next to this harness and then clip that shut. Good to go. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, here is the rubber boot. I just stuck two screwdrivers down where you can see a little bit of daylight there. And I just placed them where the two edges are touching there. Oops. And then I can squeeze the two screwdrivers together like this. And you can see it opens up quite a bit larger hole. And I shoved both wires down into that grommet and then once we go underneath there's my two wires and I can just pull them on through and then I'll go pull the screwdrivers out and we'll wire these up all right so we got those pulled through um, like I said, blue is going to be our black. I know it's kind of confusing, but you just got to remember what you're wiring. Black is our power, which is going to be our red. White, we're just going to find a good ground chassis. Purple, we don't need for this application. So we're just going to tape it up somewhere, zip tie it somewhere up. Um, I'm actually going to cut these off because I'm going to use my heat shrink ones that I have which I can uh, obviously keep moisture out once I shrink those. So I'm looking for a place to put my ground and uh, you want to do it to the frame and I noticed that there's a couple places like right here that there's a thread in there up here there's another one that's threaded and I went looking through my spare nuts and bolts and I found this bolt that threads right in so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna thread that in might do it on this one. Keep things a little tighter and cleaner. So let me get that installed. So there it is, grounded right there. Uh, like I said, this purple, just gonna zip tie up. Um, I found this big old long bolt and stuff. Um, still looking for one more, but anyway, so there's that connected. There's those connected. So all I gotta do down here is just tape everything up, make it look pretty. And now I've got our V plug right here. So the last thing to do before buttoning everything up is to install the actual brake controller. Grab a couple 
small self-tapping screws. So this is my brake controller. I already had for the Forerunner. This is the little mount that I'm going to place. So it's looking like the FJ's got the little fuse panel right there and it doesn't have anything underneath here. It's about the best place and I've seen other people do it. It's right here in front of your knee. And that'll allow you to reach it easily if you need to do any adjustments on the fly. So all I'm going to do is mark where I want it and then put a couple self tappers through this case. This little holder thing. And then um, we can pop it into place. So there you can see that it is right there. And then all you have to do is pop it into place. So we are going to plug this in actually. there it is plugged in and then all we have to do so there that is give ourselves a little bit of slack and then we can clean up all of this tuck it under and we'll be good to go so I'm gonna start taping up some of this and then I'll show y'all the finished result all right guys we are all finished up we've got the battery hooked back up everything cleaned up cut a little slit in this so that can slide over our two power wires uh, I remade this little ground wire with some better connections. Um, but as you can see, I routed the wires underneath here. And they go back behind this bracket. And then they hook up to the four posts there on your breakers. And then the wires go into a couple zip ties. And then down into the grommet through the firewall. And it's out of, every, it's out of the way of everything. Uh, there's no tension on any of it um, should be good to go and then as we go into the cab of the FJ get a light for us there they are zip tied cleanly up out of the way and then I have it wrapped in black tape, plugged in, and there is the brake controller. And then we that's all cleaned up. The wires go under there, all the way to the back and down. And there is my connection. And then cleanly come out of the back of the FJ wrapped up and zip tied right here back to our trailer plug so that's it we are good to go so thank y'all for watching hopefully I get to test this out soon with the trailer and uh, we get to take it on some adventures all right guys thanks for watching